giáo sư Rick Bennett, phó hiệu trưởng kiêm trưởng khoa truyền thông và thiết kế Đại học RMIT Việt Nam. Sự sáng tạo và tư duy tích cực đã giúp ông mang lại nguồn cảm hứng dồi dào cho các bạn sinh viên trên nhiều quốc gia khác nhau. Cùng lắng nghe những chia sẻ bổ ích của giáo sư ngay sau đây. Hello there. I've been asked to come and talk to you about how to be successful or if you or things that would help you to be successful. Today I'm going to talk to you about time, quality and money. Those are three things that are in any job. People always ask you, I need this job done fast, I need this job done cheaply, I need this job done fantastically well. As a, a customer, you can have two, you cannot have three. I'll give you an example. When I was younger, I had a big design company. I was very, very stressed, very, very busy. We had many, many jobs going at the same time. And I had to take my car in to be serviced. So I had to get my registration for my car and I needed it that very same day. I went to my friend who, who ran a garage and he said to me, Rick, what do you want doing? I said, I need my car fixed. I need it to be serviced so I can get my registration. So he said, when do you need it done? I said, oh, I need it done today. He said, no can do. You see that car, you see that car, you see that car, you see that car, they're before you. I said, well, how can I get it done? He said, you have two choices. You go somewhere else, and get it done, but they do it very, very badly, or you leave it with me to do, which you know will be fantastic, but I can do it tomorrow. I was like, wow, that's interesting. And I learned that day an important lesson in my life. So I went back to my studio and I said, guys, how many jobs are we working on? They said, probably 14 or 15. Forget them, we're going to do three jobs, and then we're going to do three more next week, and we we'll do three more the week after. Because you can't do things quickly, You can't do things cheaply and you can't do things that are really, really good quality all at the same time. So someone will come in and say, hey, I need this job done really, really fast and I haven't got any budget. Okay, that's fine, but it's going to take me a long time to do it. Or I need this job done really, really fast and I need it fantastic quality. I say, fine, but it's going to be expensive because I've got to bring people in to do that. So time, quality and money, they're three things that are in every job you do, three things that you have to own and your customer has to have two of them, but they cannot have all three. Because you have to pay your people, you have to pay your company, you have to try and make money yourself. So always learn as a lesson. You say, you want time, you want quality, fine, but I get the budget. You want time, you want budget, fine, I get the quality. You want quality, you want budget, fine, I get the time. So that's the one thing to I can always pass on is, Everyone wants things done quickly. Everyone wants things done fast and for no money and fantastic quality. It can't be done, okay? I used to say to my, my students now that I'm working for a big university, I say to my students, if you want to be a graphic designer or you want to be a designer, you train the same amount of time as you do as a dentist was who fixes your teeth. But if I go to the dentist, I say to him, I've got toothache and he fixes my tooth. I know it's going to be expensive but I hope he does it well, and I hope he doesn't rush it, he doesn't do it quickly. He takes his time. I don't tell him how to do it. I don't say, doctor, I've got a toothache, please do this, and please do this, and please do this. I walk in, I say, if I've got toothache. He does it, I walk out. Yes, it costs me money. He doesn't rush it. He knows what he's doing. As a designer and as a young person, you should know what you're doing. So value what you do and don't let people rip you off. Don't let people try and do your, make your standard lower. Keep your standard high but respect that standard and charge for it. So I'm hoping these kind of advice tips I can give to you are helpful for you, make you succeed, make you do well. Hopefully I'll be able to pass on some more little ideas that I've had over the last few years to you and it's been lovely speaking to you. I wish you well and I hope everything goes well in your success as well. So see you later, goodbye, thank you so much. I'll see you again soon.